Welcome fellow sportsmen to the beginning of the 2012 big game season setting process. My name is Daryl Mines, Regional Wildlife Manager for the Upper Snake Region. We have provided you with seven YouTube videos sharing the most up-to-date information we have on surveys and harvest information for mule deer, white-tailed deer, elk, antelope, black bear, mountain lion, and wolves. This year wolves will be a part of the big game season setting process. Hunter harvest data from 2011 will be available sometime in mid-February. These videos serve two purposes, information sharing for you and issue identification for us. Please note, you will not be able to use the YouTube comment box to submit your comments, but my email address will be provided at the end of each video for you to use. This video outlines elk harvest data from the Upper Snake region. If you need additional time to look at a figure or graph, please use the pause button located below the video. The remainder of this video will provide aerial survey data and harvest data for the elk zones that contain one or more hunt units within the Upper Snake region. The first slide, like the one you are now viewing, will show area survey data and the second will show the last several years harvest data within that elk zone. The red bars on the aerial survey data slides represent the objectives for that elk zone as described in the elk management plan. Bulls are described as adult bulls if they will be three and a half years or older during the following hunting season. At the bottom of the slide, you will find the bull-cow-calf ratio that was calculated after the last helicopter survey. The last Pioneer Zone survey was conducted in 2008 and indicated that we were within objectives for cows but below objectives for bulls. We responded to this information by reducing the elk hunting opportunity within this elk zone. This zone was scheduled to be flown this year but that survey has been postponed due to mild winter conditions. Bull and cow harvest in the Pioneer Zone fluctuated between 500 and 650 elk until the 2008 hunting season. This reduction in harvest is a result of fewer tags being offered in this zone following the 2008 elk survey that indicated that we were below objective for bulls. We flew the Limhigh Zone last year that survey indicated that we were above objectives for cows, bulls, and adult bulls. Bull harvest in the Lemhi zone has been very consistent over the last 10 years, while cow harvest fluctuates between 4 and 600 animals. The beaverhead zone was flown in 2009. We were above objectives in this zone for cows and within objectives for bulls and adult bulls. The A tag for the beaverhead zone was changed in 2009. Hunters were no longer allowed to take spike bulls with the A tag. We did, however, add a muzzleloader season for cows. This change explains the decrease in bull harvest and the increase in cow harvest that this graph shows in 2009 and 2010. We flew the Island Park zone in 2010. The survey indicated that we were within objectives for cows and below objectives for bulls and adult bulls. There was a dramatic decline in the number of elk in this zone between 2000 and 2006. In response to this decline, we made significant cuts to elk hunting opportunity. While the number of cows increased after those cuts, bulls and adult bulls remained below objective. No further cuts were made to hunting opportunity following the 2010 survey, although if we don't see an increase in bulls and adult bulls in the next survey, further cuts are likely. The harvest graph for the Island Park Zone illustrates the cuts in hunting opportunity and consequently the elk harvest following the 2006 survey. The last Teton survey was flown last year. The survey indicates that we are below objective for cows and within objective on bulls. The Teton zone elk harvest shows a decrease in bulls harvested between 2006 and 2010, while cow harvest has averaged about 80 animals. We flew the Palisades elk zone in 2009. That latest survey indicated that we were within objective 
for cows and bulls and above objective for adult bulls. Elk harvest in the Palisades was fairly stable between 2005 and 2009, but early winter snows in November of 2010 resulted in a significant increase in cow harvest. The Tex Creek zone was surveyed in 2010. We were within objectives for cows, bulls, and adult bulls. The next survey is scheduled for 2014. The antlerless harvest in Tex Creek increased dramatically with an increase in hunting opportunity that was offered in 2004. Antlerless harvest declined as elk acclimated to the new season dates and as the overall population declined slightly. Antlerless harvest increased dramatically in 2010 because heavy November snows pushed the Tex Creek elk herd into an early migration. Bull harvest in the Tex Creek zone remains stable. We are now seeking your input to identify issues with the current big game hunting seasons. As an example, I would like to see more or less hunting opportunity for whatever species in whatever unit. Deadline for these comments is February 16th. We will consider these issues and present strategies or changes to resolve these issues at public meetings later in the month. These proposals will also be posted on our Fishing Game website where you can also provide comment. Meeting times and places will be noted in local newspapers, our Fish and Game website, fishandgame.idaho.gov, or you can always call our regional office at 208-525-7290. Please email your issues to me at daryl.mines at idfg.idaho.gov. If you need additional time to write down this email address, press the pause button located below this video. Thank you for taking the time to help us set the big game seasons for 2012.